Sonic did not know what they were doing when they made this French vanilla iced coffee. Starbucks, I'm going to Sonic. What is up guys, it is your girl Ilfe Monet back with another one for you today. Let me ask you a question, a hypothetical. <laughs> that is not correct. I don't know how to say it. Y'all go to a concert or a festival and the announcer or the person who's throwing the festival says there's gonna be a special guest and y'all niggas ran with it thinking the special guest was going to be Frank Ocean. Where was this? This was Travis? No, this was um Gulf Wang. I, was, I keep getting Astro World and Go the Gulf Wang one confused. Because it's like, why would you do two festivals at the same time? But anyways, Tyler didn't even say who was going to come. He just said there was going to be a special guest at the end. And y'all motherfuckers just ran with it thinking it was going to be Frank Ocean. Tyler, the creator, brought Drake out, and y'all were booing Drake. What's up? If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. No! No! I love you. I'm so sorry that an ugly ass bitch like this would even say that. Oh my God, are you fucking insane? Drake? Look, orange was good. We were all fucking around with the little birds. No, a tornado. What? Is it a tornado? How the song go? A potato flew around my room before you came. Excuse. Don't y'all feel stupid that even Frank Ocean liked Drake's post? The picture is so funny between him and Taco. Like Drake's just like. What the fuck happened up there? And Taco's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm sure Tyler was embarrassed. So. My girl Doja Cat, my girl Mr. Moo Moo, Mr. Mrs. Moo Moo, ugh, has been doing the damn thing. And I know we made fun of her in the beginning. I know it, but Miss Little Doja Cat has really proved herself. I was watching, what's that? I was watching, well, I didn't really watch Cyber Sex. It's not my favorite. What's that one song, Rules? I'm sure Rules is everybody's favorite, but that music video, I love Doja's little concept with the cat thing, like that's her whole thing. And it's like, Doja is very creative. She just released her, um, is it an EP or is it an album? My songs I like the most out of the album is obviously Rules and Bottom Bitch. I love Bottom Bitch and Rules. I love Bottom Bitch over Rules. Or, damn, it's kind of a hard toss. I love Rules, yeah. Another shout out is Tanash. At first, I was not listening to her. She's like, to me, she's one of those people you gotta get into. Like, you just gotta like their sound. And I'm not, I can't even get into FKA Twigs. I know everybody be listening to Lena Del Rey. It's like maybe there's just a song that I'm not hearing or, you know, something that I just haven't gotten into. But what's that one song she came out with, Miss Banks? I was like, Um, you might got something with this one. Little Summer Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what she'd do, so she stepped in front of me. That actually flowed. I did that. She told y'all asses that she does not like being touched. I don't know what y'all don't get about that. Like, have you, you never heard of people just not liking or reacting to people's energy? Like with all this like mentality and self positivity, and growth and whatnot that's been happening on the internet. You telling me that you've never heard that people don't like being touched because they can really take on someone's energy or, or like even me trying to explain this shit, I can't even explain it. But I get what she's saying. Like if a sad person hugs you, you're not gonna feel happy when they hug you. You're gonna feel sad too. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on now, we all agree that someone can pass off their energy to you like it can be a bad energy and that can put you in a bad mood for the rest of the day or it can be a good energy and that can put you in a happy mood for the rest of the day you see what i'm saying so what the f are y'all coming at summer walker for she told y'all she doesn't like the fame she doesn't like all the attention and whatnot and that's kind of like every celebrity complains about the fame and attention and no because you are a celebrity being a celebrity does not imply that these are just things you have to deal with. Like, Y'all gotta leave Summer Walker alone. Just 
Leave Summer Walker alone. Just, you got to. You got to. Leave the child alone. Y'all are really messing with her, her, her balances. Y'all are really throwing off her balances. You buy, I, okay, if I were to buy a meet and greet, well, no. If I already understand this about the artists that I'm going to meet for their meet and greet, I, I, I mean, I would be upset, but I would also understand, you know, like this is something they've told us before. Just expect that, that this could be something that will happen, you know? But if this was like an artist that's never said this before about themselves, then hell yeah, I'd be pissed. Like, what the fuck? I bought a meet and greet. You gonna shake my hand, okay? She had to cancel some of her concerts, you know? Like, at least she was understanding about it. She at least wasn't like, y'all, like, I'm gonna do what I want. Y'all gonna pay this money to see me anyways. Like Lauren Hill. Sometimes a joke can go too far and it can really mess with people's heads or like their brains and really change their thought or their perception of a person. So I hope you guys liked this video. I will see you all next time. Peace out.